Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome to the show. This is episode 651. As I said, my guest is Jarrah Hutchins, self-defense instructor. She's been on before. I think, uh, what was I? What did I say it was? I think it was episode... I'm going to try to find it right here. Five, 513 or something? Yeah, 518. So if you guys want to go check that out, Jarrah was on uh, 518. Uh, I think it was a great episode, very lively. We made some snippets out of it. So you're back. Welcome back, Jarrah. How are you? Hey, thank you. Busy, but amazing. Yes. Busy, but amazing. Yes. <laughs> you sound pretty pumped up. Uh, do you want to, so just for the folks out there who um, who've never heard of you, do you want to just fill folks in on who you are, what you do real quick? Yeah. So that's kind of gone, you know, crazy since the last time we talked. So um, I'm a self-defense instructor, mm -hmm. firearms instructor, mm -hmm. uh, started my company clearing the chamber uh, full-time in 2017, been teaching for about 10 years, uh, but went full-time in 2017. Um, I started doing some human trafficking work. So shout out to Carry Girl Gear uh, for making these really cool in human trafficking uh, shirts, but I'm going to be buying some patches off of the Hank Strange uh, Ballistic Ink store tonight. Those things were amazing. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, uh, the, well, the Ballistic Ink has the t-shirts, the patches, and stuff like that you have to get from HankStrange.com. HankStrange.com. Go yes. get some patches, man. Those yeah. things were awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and then I, uh, I'm i a range master for um, a security company. Uh, so we do, we have a, a project called Project Safe Neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we go into uh, high crime communities and we clean it up. And uh, it's so it's been a lot going on. Uh, COVID's been busy for me. I, I think a lot of instructors can say the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, you know, people want training now. They're starting to see uh, mm -hmm. that, you know, your freedoms are a breath away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you're not, if you're not prepared, you know, you know, get strapped or get clapped. I mean, that's the deal. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a, it's been a busy year. 2020 has been a busy year. Um, and now it's kind of time to, you know, get on the podcast, talk to people um, who are doing the things that I'm doing and reaching people who aren't doing the things that we're doing uh, to try to educate them on the things we're doing. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So many things in here. So many things. Um, uh, first of all, Harry's Holsters, the sponsors of the show, Harry said, congrats on getting on PBD's show. So he knows who this, uh, you you were telling me this uh, before we started about uh, PBD, which is, oh, uh, some, Paul. is it Paul Bet David? Patrick Bet pa David. Patrick, and, so it's, and it's so cool that Harry's Holsters knows about him. So I've got to tell you the quick rundown on how I got on that show. Yes, please do. Um, so if you're on YouTube, uh, you need to go and, and look up the Patrick Bet David show. Um, so I did a, so my friend Aaron works for one of his companies and she calls me up a few weeks ago and she said, Hey, my, my office wants you to come and do a license to carry class. Mm -hmm. And so, so in Texas, you have to have a license to carry to carry on your body. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so she said, can you come do one? I said, sure. And I, I was, it was just like any other class I would ever teach. Well, what I didn't know is that Patrick bet David was in the class, um, and, and he has a, a, a channel called Valuetainment mm -hmm. uh, that has 2.5 million oh, YouTube wait, subscribers. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I know who you're talking about, actually. The more you say it, Valuetainment, yes. This guy, he's in Texas, but he's from California. Right. Well, he's, he's originally from Tehran. Yeah, um, I know exactly who you're talking came, about. Yep. Yeah. I know exactly. Yep. I didn't put the uh, – I'm terrible, actually. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. I know exactly who you're talking about. I do look at his videos sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got an incredible yeah. YouTube channel. So he then does, I get, yeah. you know, two days later, I get a call uh, from, from a really cool guy named Mario Aguilar, who's his, um, mm -hmm. he, he's like basically produces, you know, his channel. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Hey, we want to have you on, on the podcast. And I was like, cool, because you know, I've done podcasts before, whatever. So I start researching it like you would anything so that you're prepared. And I'm like, this dude, has an insane amount of followers. Um, and I thought it was super cool that he was taking the time out to be an ambassador for his safety. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, that I, and I'll, throw, I'll just show. throw the picture up there for you guys who haven't seen him. Cause I think if you see who, like I, once I got that picture in my head of who you're talking about, I was like, Oh, I do look at that guy. 
I look at his videos all the time. Yeah. I was watching a video where he was talking about why, I think when he left California, a bunch of people that work with him in his business uh, left California, and he was talking about what's happening lately. You're, you're, they did. You know, you're talking about how all the COVID stuff is going on, and he, he was talking about how those things have made a lot of people decide to move, like Joe Rogan, etc. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He was, um, he was, he was all over it. And, and he mm-hmm. has such a loyal, uh, mm-hmm. he employee base that, mm-hmm. you know, most of them picked up and they, they came right to Texas with him. And now he's getting ready to go to Florida. And like 80% of his employee base is going with him to Florida from what I hear. Oh, really? So, okay. yeah, yeah. So he's got, there's a lot going on, you know, with that. So doing the show was super cool. And I, it just kind of goes to show like you just never know what kind of doors God's going to open for you. Um, because that was not, that was very unexpected. And so then he asked me, so I went and did the podcast and then he asked me to be a contributor for the live that they were doing to cover the presidential debate, which was super fun. Mm -hmm. And so, so we did that. So Mm -hmm. it's been kind of cool, uh, to get to know the, the people at value attainment and, and they run a really cool, a really cool program over there. Yeah. So you have basically been on rock star status. I was like, I got my 15 minutes of rockstar status. That's pretty much what I got, you know, and yeah. they were like, go home. <laughs> Congratulations on that. And yes, you know what, like you were saying, it's been busy too. Um, yeah. I think for everyone in the industry, it, I, I think that there's no part of the industry that hasn't gone up, right? So everyone's selling guns, people making <clears throat> stuff, selling stuff, uh, trainers, uh, suppressors even, I've heard from people in the industry, like they're selling, everything's selling. Everything. I mean, when 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 COVID was probably at its peak, like from the first shutdown mm-hmm. in Texas, uh, we had people for about a three week period coming into the gun range that I was teaching at. And they were like, I don't care what it is. If it has a trigger, I want it. Mm-hmm. Now, that shows you two things. It shows you, number one, how desperate people became for something to defend themselves with because they started to figure out that the government can't protect them. Mm-hmm. Number one. Mm-hmm. And then number two it shows you how uneducated the general populace is on firearms and what's best for what situation. Mm -hmm. There's different platforms of firearms for a reason. Mm -hmm. And so when you become desperate, when you, when you don't take the time out, when you don't carve that time out to, to make safety a priority in your calendar and to learn these things, then when the, when the time comes that you need those things, you're completely uneducated and unprepared as to what you should be getting uh, to properly defend yourself in what situation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, by the way, you're getting some shout outs from the folks out there. Um, let me see, who was who this? Combat Gaming says, Jara, I follow you on Instagram. I love your page. I'm going to throw your page up on Instagram. It's clearing the chamber for anyone out there. And look, Jara just, uh, I think, I don't know, you just probably just did this because uh, you're where you're pretty much the same background so this video there if anyone goes to instagram smash the uh the love or like button whatever people call it on the instagrams there so there you go bam because it looks like the last thing you posted you just posted it but you didn't just just you probably just posted it like before i did i yeah. did just a few minutes ago yeah i did a video on uh you know what's more important your ballot or your blessing mm-hmm. um so everybody's all tripping about voting and Mm -hmm. tripping about our presidential candidates. And Mm -hmm. I get it. It's a, it's a really galvanizing and controversial election year that we're having right now, Mm -hmm. but your vote matters and you Mm -hmm. should go do it. But what are you doing with the other 364 days of your year? Mm -hmm. How are you digging into your community and blessing Mm -hmm. people? Mm -hmm. And you got to be doing it. Make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.